So let's create a build system with Grunt. Uh, if you don't know what a build system is or missed my spiel on what a build system is, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. And hopefully you've already watched the video on the basic introduction to Node.js because that will be a requirement for this if you don't know Node. So that's also down there and let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to use Grunt today to concatenate our JavaScript files. Um, and uh, we're also going to concatenate our CSS files and they're going to watch so it's going to do these whenever we save that's going to be our first step that we do um, and so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is run npm install dash g for global grunt cli so grunt command line interface is what cli is for so now everyone on the computer will have access to the grunt command uh, and then we don't have a package JSON started yet, so I'm going to run npm init. That's going to create a package JSON for me. I'm just going to say, okay, 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 and there we go. There's my package JSON. Now I can't have this called grunt because I actually have to install the package called grunt. Here, let me show you what happens. If I go npm install s to save grunt into my package. Grunt, it's going to say refusing to install Grunt as a dependency of itself. So I'll call this Grunt Project. Save it. And now I can run npm install s Grunt. There we go. Grunt is now installed. I have node modules and Grunt is there. Excellent. So the only other thing I need to do is I need to create a Grunt file.js with a capital G. I believe it has to have a capital G. I believe so. So when you run Grunt, it's going to lo it's going to load the Grunt file, and that's pretty much all that happens. So what we do, if you remember from Node.js, we're going to do a module.exports equals function, and function gets Grunt, and that's it for you. And so now for our first action, remember Grunt is a task runner, so let's create some tasks to run dot register tasks and let's give it a name let me go full screen here uh, let's register a task called speak maybe and give it a function to run when you run the task speak uh, we'll just console log I'm speaking there we go so now if I run grunt speak it's gonna say hey I'm speaking Woohoo! let's create another command Register task yell. I'm yelling. So now if I run grunt speak, it speaks. And grunt yell, I'm yelling. There you go. Congratulations. You've made your first two tasks. Now we all have to, all we have to do is make these tasks smarter. <laughs> um, one other thing that you can do is you can go grunt register task um, both. And then I can give it an array. Let me go full screen again so you can see it. Um, and this will require run speak and yell. So then it's going to run speak and yell. So the both tasks will do both. Let's verify that that works. Grunt both. I'm speaking. I'm yelling. Um, and also, if you call this default, whatever task you call default will run when you just run grunt. So there we go, grunt. So that's how you run register tasks. You do grunt.register task. Whatever's in the function gets fired when the task gets called. So that's pretty basic. Nothing super smart going on. Now all we have to do is let's load some common tasks uh, that we're going to use um, all the time. And so to do this, I'm going to go to the Grunt website and look at the plugins. What's awesome about Grunt is not so much that Grunt runs tasks, but that it's got a billion awesome, awesome plugins to plug into it. Uh, so grunt contrib concat is going to be the first one we look at. We're going to concatenate files together. Um, and one thing with grunt you get good at is you get good at looking at, um, I'm actually going to look at this on GitHub, might be a little more familiar to you guys. You get good at looking at readme files and figuring out what to do. So I'm just going to scroll down. I know where to go here. Um, there's a grunt init config. So here's kind of how these tasks work. One, you're going to install them. There you go. Save dev. So let's go ahead and run this command to install it. npm install. We're installing grunt contrib concat. And we're going to save that as well. That's installed. And so now you can run this. Load tasks grunt contrib concat. Let's get rid of these guys. 
Now we're loading a task from our NPM module. And so what that's going to do is that's going to look for pre-configuration on what our concatenations are going to be. And so Grunt is always going to load its configurations for your different tasks in the same place. And that is called the Grunt init config. It'll all make sense here in just a second here. So I'm copy and pasting this. So this grunt init config object right here holds all of our configuration for all of our tasks. Um, and all these grunt predefined tasks are going to look in that config uh, to know what to do. Uh, so let's get rid of this options here. We don't need a separator. So basically grunt contrib concat is going to look at the concat part of the object and that's going to know that the configuration for concat is in there. And so we're going to call this action of concat dist. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it happy. Uh, we'll call it dist for distribution. And let's go js. What did I call these? One and two. js1.js. js2.js. And we're going to do build. Usually things will be called build for a built, for, for a built project or dist for distribution. So build I think is a little bit more popular. And we'll just call it js.min or we'll just call it scripts.js. It's not .min cuz it's not been minified yet. So there we go. So now since I did load npm tasks, I can run grunt concat because that's what the npm task for grunt concat is. So I can now run grunt concat there you go. And file build script.js. Whoop, that should be called scripts.js. So there we go. There's a build folder that appeared now. And there's a script that's got both of my files in it. And that's pretty much it. That was really, really easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and tweak some things. Let's go build js slash scripts. Going to delete that folder. Go away. And then let's make one. We'll call this js. And let's make this one CSS. And so now you'll go CSS. What are these two called? Main and theme. Let's go full screen again. CSS theme.css. And you will go build CSS um, styles CSS. There we go. So once again, uh, my grunt concat command comes from this. It's loading it from the NPM module. And so concat is going to look at this and it's automatically going to run everything in here when I run grunt concat. Let's run it again. We created scripts.js and we created styles.js. So now my build folder is looking a little bit different. We've got styles that has all my styles. Awesome. I was now able to break these up. And I've got JS, which is my script. So these are the two that I'm actually going to deploy. So now let's go to the next level with this and let's watch my file system for changes. I don't want to have to run Grunt Concat every time. I want to just be able to save this file, boom, and have it automatically do some changes. So for that plugin, we are going to go back a few. And that's just called Grunt Contrib Watch. Load them back. There we go, Grunt Contrib Watch. The grunt contrib ones are the ones that are made by the uh, contributors to grunt. And so those are always trusted plugins. Those are always going to be good ones. We're going to run this command here. Like I said, with grunt, you get really good at reading readme files. And then we're going to load npm task grunt contrib watch. Okay, it's my grunt file. There we go. And then here's our watch example. And so with watch, it's going to watch for file system changes. Um, and when that happens, you get to run tasks. So let's go, we'll just keep it, we'll call it JS. And this will be called JS star star, which means any folder. Star, which means any file ending in .js. So any file ending in .js that's in the JS directory. Uh, that's not really fully necessary, but I want a little bit more control because I'm a controlling person. Whenever that happens, we're going to run concat. And then we're also going to remove options spawn. And so there we go. That's our JS. And then we'll also do a CSS. 
CSS, and that will also run concat. Concat's really fast, so I can run that every time. So now you'll notice something different. When I run grunt watch, it runs and it just stays there forever uh, because it's actually sitting actively waiting for me to make some changes. So let me hit save here. Um, okay, okay. And that didn't work because I must have something wrong in my JS file here. So let's see. Oh, I have two things called JS. And there's my problem. This one was overriding this one. Happens all the time. Uh, so I'm going to hit uh, Control C to cancel out of that. Let's run Grunt Watch again and hit save. There we go. File js.1.js was changed, and so it redid them both. And now let's try saving a CSS file. Awesome, same thing. So if I change this background to pink, then my build CSS now has that as a background of pink. Awesome, terrible idea, but it's awesome. Um, and you can also go like this. I can just run concat.js on that. Let me cancel that and start that up again. So now when I run JS, it's only going to run the concat.js thing. You'll notice it did not create a style CSS again. It just created uh, the JavaScript because it only ran this portion. And so that's kind of why you'll give them a name. So you can actually refer to portions of a task by name. This will be concat CSS. So the last thing, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go grunt register task default. And this will run um, this will run concats. And this will run watch. Whoop, there we go. Let me zoom out so you can see that. So I added a default task as well there. And so once that's saved, I can now cancel out of that. And I can just run grunt. And that will start off doing the build right away, uh, which is good because we'll want to build it before we run our server the first time. And now it's running watch as well. So our build folder exists. And we are now watching these for changes. So if I get rid of the, both of those OKs, it changes my scripts.js. And it'll also build out my CSS. Let's go back to red because pink is a terrible idea. So there you go. That's your introduction to Grunt. Hope you liked it. And we'll get into the next part of our build in the next video. Bye.